Have you ever wondered how Kenya could deliver critical supplies like blood, vaccines, medicine, or even cow semen to remote areas? It may sound futuristic, but it's already happening next door in Rwanda. A drone tech company there is, is using unmanned aircraft the drones to deliver life-saving goods, transforming both healthcare and farming. Now, they've completed successful test flights in Kisumu as Kenya eyes this revolutionary system for remote medical access. Willy Lusige traveled to Rwanda's Mohanga district to see the future in motion. A soft hum, then... With a press of a button, the drone lifts off lights blinking, fixed wings steady, slicing through the air like a mini aircraft. In seconds, it's out of sight and into action. Each takeoff could save a life, each landing proves that one already has. Welcome to Zipline's drone port at Muhanga District in Rwanda, one of the two high-tech drone ports serving over 500 health facilities nationwide. Here, drones carry blood, vaccines, medicine, even animal semen to the most remote parts of the country. We use drones to deliver emergency commodities uh, to save lives in hospitals, health centers, health posts, clinics, in very hard to reach places but it's an autonomous drone so no pilot because it goes for long distance which is known as beyond uh, visual line of sight. Rwanda's rugged terrain and poor roads once made such deliveries painfully slow or impossible. Now a drone gets there under 30 minutes. Every one minute 20 seconds we have a request we operate 24-7. Inside the 24 hours command center, requests flow in from hospitals. Emergencies like blood shortages are prioritized immediately. So our system uh, populate all the orders, arrange them in forms of priority, which one is emergency, which one is a fast delivery, which one is a scheduled delivery. In the warehouse, staff pack supplies, label them and load them into the drones. A fully charged battery goes in, then the launch. Guided by GPS and artificial intelligence, the drone flies autonomously. No pilot is needed. At the destination, it drops the package by a parachute for a safe landing, then returns to base where it is caught mid-air by a tail hook. Once it's reached the location where it has been deployed for the mission, it opens the, the door, it's like the womb, and it releases the box. The box has its own paper parachute, so it will slowly uh, land uh, or drop at the drop site. This happens every few minutes, day or night, rain or shine. Now Zipline is expanding its wings beyond medicine. Farmers now receive high quality salmon within minutes, cutting delays that once led to failed inseminations. And we are now becoming strong in animal health by delivering uh, animal vaccines as opposed to before where you will carry the product, you will not respect the temperature, will go on a bus for five hours, shaking the semen. When you inseminate, it's already dead. From hospitals to homesteads, Zipline is rewriting how services are delivered in hard-to-reach areas. And Kenya is watching closely. So we reduce stock out, we reduce wastage, we increase the opportunity to treat. And when it comes to cost, when you check the warehousing cost, the company has already flown successful test missions in Kisumu, preparing to support remote communities here too. From the Kisumu distribution center, we have the ability to reach 14 counties, places like Oma Bay, Nyamira, um, um, Kericho, are places that can be served by that distribution center and more, 14 more counties can be reached. Technology is not the future, it is here and already transforming lives. In Rwanda, drones are being used to ferry blood and even medication and now transforming agriculture. It's high time Kenya adopts such kind of innovations or lag behind because technology waits for no one. Willy Lusige, Citizen TV, Muhanga District in Rwanda.